Several decades ago, during the height of the Cold War, a remarkable aircraft known as the F-22 Raptor came into existence to establish absolute control of the skies and outshine any potential Soviet threats that loomed in the distance. Crafted with unparalleled precision and advanced technology, the F-22 possessed exceptional qualities that set it apart from its contemporaries. This cutting-edge fighter jet has redefined air dominance with its exceptional qualities and advanced capabilities. It possesses unmatched turning capabilities, astonishing acceleration, and the unique ability to sustain supersonic flight without afterburners. With a stealthy design, thrust vectoring technology, and state-of-the-art radar systems, the F-22 Raptor becomes an invisible predator, poised to strike. But why do modern fighter jets, including the F-22 Raptor, still rely on machine guns despite their ability to eliminate targets from long distances with rockets? Stay tuned for the answer. The term machine guns may not accurately describe the weapons used on modern fighter jets. Instead, they are equipped with automatic cannons, which differ from traditional machine guns. These cannons unleash explosive shells rather than solely relying on kinetic bullets. The concept of using cannons was pioneered by Germany and the UK during World War II, when Germany and the UK recognized the need for more destructive firepower. In those early days, the United States held firm to its belief in machine guns, skeptical about the effectiveness of cannons. But everything changed after the Vietnam War. The lessons learned from that conflict, combined with the evolving nature of warfare, forced a re-evaluation of the role of guns on fighter jets. In specific, the history of why fighter jets, including F-22 Raptors, are equipped with guns dates back into the 1960s when there was a widespread belief that missiles would make guns obsolete. Initially, fighter jets were designed in the 1950s when radar-guided missiles were emerging as a dominant force. Many believed that the era of dogfights had come to an end as missiles took precedence and interdictors and fleet defense planes were thought to no longer require guns. It was perceived that shooting down enemy planes from a distance using missiles would be the ultimate strategy. As a result, fighter jets were initially constructed without them. However, during the Vietnam War, the U.S. fighter jets faced a unique challenge. They found themselves engaged in dogfights against smaller, more agile enemy planes. The missile-centric strategies that were once deemed foolproof were falling short. The early radar-guided missiles, such as the AIM-7 Sparrow, had abysmal hit rates of less than 20%. Even the infrared-guided AIM-9 Sidewinder didn't offer significant improvement. The crowded airspace and restrictive rules of engagement further hampered the effectiveness of missiles. In this circumstance, it required visual identification of targets before firing, and the Vietnamese fighters used clever tactics to lure the Americans into close-range battles. It was in this crucible of combat that the value of guns became apparent. The fighter pilots realized that having a gun, or more precisely, a machine cannon, could be a life-saving last resort. When missiles were rendered ineffective, machine cannons could be the key to survival. Close-range dogfights demanded quick reflexes and precise targeting, and the explosive shells from the machine cannons had the power to cause significant damage. In present days, Modern arguments may favor abandoning guns due to the extraordinary advancements in stealth technology and the exceptional accuracy and range of missiles. However, the lessons learned from the F-4's experiences in the Vietnam War have not been forgotten. The inclusion of guns is still considered valuable if it can be incorporated without compromising other critical aspects. This is particularly relevant for the F-22 Raptor, which has a limited number of internal missiles. In engagements between stealth fighters, where surprise plays a pivotal role, close-range dogfights can occur, necessitating the need for guns as a backup when missiles are not optimal. Additionally, during close air support missions, fighter jets may be required to conduct strafing runs, employing machine cannons to penetrate light armor and compel enemy forces to seek cover. 
Since the 1970s, it has been a standard practice for fighter aircraft, including the F-22 Raptor, to incorporate an internal gun, typically a 20 to 30 millimeter rotary cannon. The inclusion of a machine gun on the F-22 Raptor is not a vestige of the past, but rather a prudent measure to ensure it possesses all the essential tools needed to triumph in the dynamic and unpredictable realm of aerial combat. But what makes guns still relevant and necessary in the context of modern fighters? The presence of a gun on a fighter jet holds significance in the modern era, akin to a pistol carried by an infantryman. While a fighter's primary reliance lies on other advanced weapon systems, the inclusion of a gun serves as a last resort for self-defense in extreme situations. Although it may seem inconsequential, having a gun increases the aircraft's flexibility, providing an additional option in rare contingencies that may arise. Thus, military forces opt to include a gun in fighter jets if it can be integrated without compromising other essential features. While the importance of guns on modern fighter jets may not be prevalent in every mission or engagement, their presence ensures an additional layer of capability and resilience. There are several factors that justify the gun's inclusion in modern fighter jets like the F-22 Raptor. One key reason is the possibility of running out of missiles in a sustained fight. During prolonged engagements, fighters can deplete their missile inventory, leaving them without a long-range weapon. In such scenarios, having a gun becomes crucial, as it allows the pilot to continue engaging the enemy even when other weapons have been expended. Additionally, there are scenarios where the proximity of targets and the ineffectiveness of missiles at close range make guns indispensable. When fighters find themselves in close proximity to their adversaries, using missiles may become impractical or ineffective. In such cases, guns offer a reliable and precise means of engagement, enabling pilots to effectively neutralize threats in close quarters. Although the significance of guns on modern fighter jets may not be prevalent in every mission, their inclusion is driven by the need for additional capability and resilience. In a world where unforeseen circumstances and contingencies can arise, having a gun as a backup remains prudent, providing crucial self-defense, allowing for continued engagement when other weapons are depleted, and proving its worth in close-range combat situations and ground support missions. Eventually, including guns on fighter jets like F-22 Raptor ensures flexibility and preparedness for unforeseen situations. Despite technological advancements, the lessons from history and the potential decisive scenarios make their inclusion a wise choice. Thus, even in an era of missiles and stealth, the legacy of the machine cannon endures, ready to provide additional protection and firepower when needed. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.